the latent goal of artificial intelligence researchers has always been to build something as intelligent, as human-like as we are. They haven't always admitted that, but that's really what they've wanted to do. Cynthia Brazil started working with me on our first humanoid, COG, and then she developed the robot Kismet, a sociable robot. If we want to build a robot that can interact with people, communicate with people, and learn from people, it has to also be social because that's the way that people are going to try to teach it and the way they're going to try to communicate to it. Hello, Kismet. Kismet is an anthropomorphic robotic head that is specialized for face-to-face -face interaction between humans and this robot. So a lot of the sensors, the actuators, the degrees of freedom have all been specialized for sending as well as receiving the social cues that people very naturally expect that would happen between something like a mother and her infant. Kismet has a very expressive and complicated face. There are a total of 21 motors that have been packed all into Kismet's head and neck system. The robot can perceive people through vision. There are actually four cameras on the robot. Nine computers alone are used for vision. Kismet can express in three modalities. One is through tone of voice. Another is through facial expression. And body posture is also critical. So approaching, leaning forward when it likes something, withdrawing when it doesn't like something. So we've brought in human subjects who've never interacted with the robot before to engage the robot to evaluate do they find the interaction enjoyable and natural. You're such a cute little robot. You'd be so serious. They're going to have to know if the robot understood them. And this is done through the robot's expressive abilities. He you. Oh, did he say he loves me? I love you, too. So another important skill for the robot to be able to learn from people is being able to recognize communicative intent. Very good, Kismet. And the way we've done that with Kismet right now is to have the robot recognize by tone of voice. Are you praising it? Are you scolding it? Where do you put your body? Oh. So it's not only the ability to be robust and to perform tasks in a complex world and to be able to understand language, but to understand empathy, to be able to relate to people, to be able to form friendships. And your favorite color, blue? These are the aspects that I consider to be intimately a part of a sociable machine. I think we have something going on. Oh, I think there's something here between us. Stop, you gotta let me talk. Stop. Shh, 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 shh. I think we got something going on here. You and me. Because Kismet exists in a social world, it has access to these special kinds of interactions that I believe could play such a critical and beneficial role in promoting the robot's own development and continued learning.